Corby Sculpture Park is coming together in Oakleyville, and our sculptor, Richard James, recruited the Keystone Cops to speed up the installation. I suppose the thing that surprised me the most about the installation of the sculptures was the speed with which it all took place. And I did see a lot of the plinths going in and I think, oh great, you know, that's the beginning of this, you know, this is what we've worked for. I was quite surprised by how much Richard James was involved in the whole project. He's obviously a very hands-on artist, somebody you can have a lot of respect for, and a very likeable character as well. You know, you felt you could walk up to him and say, oh, Richard, what's that for? And he would answer it in your language, which is so important. It's a great start for Corby, a Corby sculpture park. When we started this journey, uh, we talked to the arts panel about what they wanted, and they really wanted one sculpture for Oakley Vale. Uh, we identified a few sites, and they came up with three preferred sites. And we were really thrilled to receive an application from Richard James, who actually suggested a main sculpture, but also two smaller sculptures, so the smaller leaf and the bench near the play park, because they got three sculptures, a lovely walk between, and the start of their sculpture park. You know, we were hoping that people would take an interest and follow the footpath to the other sculptures at the bench, and never sit on the bench. Um, they're all beautiful sculptures, so we we're hoping that people from outside of Corby as well will visit the sculpture park. I actually watched the big piece going into place, which was quite thrilling, I have to say. And the little pieces had gone in prior to that and we've worked on it for so long and then suddenly it's a reality and I think the reality is a wonderful thing. When Richard came to see us Oakley Rangers we, we gave ideas for the animals that were going to be on the sculptures so it would feel like a proper community project and when he did that it felt like it was our sculpture. I'm pleased with the result because it just adds a real nice touch to Corby and Oakley Vale. I'd like to see more sculptures on Oakley Vale because I think they look really nice and they give it a good community atmosphere. Preparations were in place at the sculpture unveiling by the mayor. We had on the day uh, an ice cream van which gave free ice creams to everybody attending. And from there we, we met uh, the mayor. Oh, there was a great day. Uh, the, the people coming to the unveiling, it was a wonderful moment. Um, suddenly you felt you had something you could share with your community and the community turned out in great volumes. I believe there was something like 80 people present. The idea of, of sculptures was to represent the area. When you look at any of the sculptures, they've got all the birds, the animals, lizards, newts, all the creatures that live in the area. Uh, right, the concept of this one was uh, that it had blown off the big one and had tumbled down the path, and that's why it's curled rather than flat. Um, and was sort of blowing along to the uh, to the bench at the far end, which was the end of the trail uh, for the leaves. So yeah, dead simple. And also along the routes, eventually we came across uh, a sanctuary garden, which was created by myself and people in my group, which is called Venture Autism. An autistic person sees the world in colours and shapes. Um, Chris wanted to do a little bit of a 
reconstruction of the carnival garden, uh, which is a sensory garden that we did in the carnival. And we won the cup of the best adult float and the best uh, carnival spirit for the whole year. Okay. So you've got competition, Richard, okay? Happy, proud, Thank you. Uh, involved, and uh, everybody was uh, willing to say something nice and positive about it. Fair enough, okay, here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. As much as I am a foreign person from South America, Ecuador, which is a faraway country, I felt British, because I am British anyway, in papers, but I felt part of Oakley Vale, part of England. I felt part of the community. And that makes me a little bit of having something to pass on to my children and my grandchildren. Look, this is culture. We managed to make it happen. And it's something that fills your heart.